Hi guys. We're gonna be doing kind of like a tour of Portland bookstores today. We're actually starting off in South Portland at a place called Nonesuch Books. I have featured it once on this channel. I went there when I was searching for A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass because no other bookstores had it. And they have a pretty good selection of used paperbacks as well. And it's a really cute little like indie bookstore. So I'm gonna start the day off here and see where else the day takes us. I have a couple other bookstores in mind. I am kind of on a soft no buy for the month. So this is more about just kind of showing the local Portland, Maine bookstores and sort of just enjoying the day surrounded by books. Sounds great. I've never been to this bookstore, so I'm excited. Yeah, so let's go. So now we're at Bull Moose, which has been on this channel quite a bit. I shop, this is where I shop probably the most for books. They have really good deals on pre-owned books and they have a couple 50 cent bins that I love kind of digging through every time I visit. So it's her favorite spot. Bull Moose is where I go when I've had a bad day and I need to cheer up. So I'm going to check out Bull Moose and take you guys along and see what they have. If they've got any good treasures today. Let's see what we find. That's true. Really. I know.
copy of Jane Eyre. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's a good color scheme to portray the mood. Find anything interesting? Ooh, bargain books. So it is the next day. We got a little burnt out because we did a lot of driving and walking mm -hmm. around Portland yesterday. But it was an adventure. It was. It was an adventure. It was really nice outside. It was yeah. toastier than we expected it to be. We thought it was going to be overcast. September in Maine is always kind of hit or miss. So, uh, but yeah, it was a lovely day. We had a lot of fun going to the bookstores. Like I mentioned yesterday, I'm kind of on a soft no buy for September. My birthday is at the end of the month and. I don't want to accidentally buy anything that someone else may have gotten me. Plus, I've got this big old stack of TBR books to get through. So, I wanted to take the month to try to get through what I did have. I did cave and buy two books, but I think that's pretty good considering we went to four bookstores. Mm -hmm. So, actually five. Because yeah. we, we ended up going to Books A Million, but I yep. didn't film that. So, um, uh, yeah, I just figured we'd share our little haul with you real fast mm -hmm. and kind of close out this vlog. Do you want to go first or should I? Um, Sure. Um, uh, first place, I've noticed whenever I'm shopping with Lexi that if there is a book that she's already recommended to me more than once, but especially if it's already been like five times, if we see it together, there's no question. Like, especially we're buying if it's it. pre owned, we're buying a good price. Especially. And so, um, I got both at two different bookstores. Mm -hmm. We found them pre owned, so I thought that was great. They were both around six dollars, which is really funny because in this trip, uh, Lexi was telling me how she was just gonna give me 
one of her copies so that I could finally read it and I ended up buying both of them. So that was fun. I also ended up buying candles because you know it's always nice to have a sort of like cozy vibe imagining like if you get candles and you're like oh it'll be so romantic and then you do it and it's actually really not that nice but like let's live up to the expectation. I love candles. It's They're nice so to like cozy. work by candle side and be like oh this is how it would have been and then you like get five minutes into it and you're like I'm already done. I'm good. We don't need to do this anymore. I will put on a candle for the entire evening. But like with the lights out, like you run oh. out of power lights out sort okay. of vibe. And then the other thing that I got is a set of 7, 8, and 9 of the Wheel of Time. I have been trying to collect these and I've been trying to collect the older editions. The mass market paper um, copies. Yeah. Which has been really hard. And especially now that the series is about to come out, I feel like it's becoming a lot harder to try and find They're them. very difficult to find um, now. So I saw them in a set and I figured this will probably be the easiest way to get it. So if I've already gotten about half of the series on really good bargains, it's not going to hurt to pay a little bit more. Um, but I'm excited for it and it's all in a little set and they're really nice. So that was my little book haul. You're on book three now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm on Dragon Reborn. Cool. Uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited for that show. It yeah. comes out in November and um, I'm on book seven. So I'm about halfway through the book series. And it's so good. I'm really excited to see what this, they do with the show. So. We still haven't gotten a full trailer though. We've the teaser gotten... trailer was still Oh, the teaser trailer was nice, but it's still a teaser trailer. Yes. All right, so into my little thing, I picked up, I believe I filmed this at None Such Books, these cute little socks with these little cats playing with pumpkins and fall leaves. I love socks, like novelty socks in particular. I have dozens of pairs. And with fall coming up, I just thought these were the coziest, cutest little pattern. And I love cats. And I think this will go with a lot of fall outfits. So I'm very excited for these. I think these are going to be a staple for the next few months. I'm really excited. Then at Bull Moose, I found the third book in the Kane Chronicles series in the middle reader section. And this is in fabulous condition. Mm -hmm. Honestly, looks like it's never actually even been read. The I've only ever read the first book in the series. This is the first time I saw the third book in the series and it was only $6. So figured I'd grab that. I do want to read all of these at some point. So I'm slowly collecting them and adding them to my Rick Riordan collection. And I love the hardbacks for his books. So I'm really excited to get to this at some point. It was only $6, but I also had store credit and they do like a point system to kind of, um, like you collect a certain amount of points, and you can take half off your order. Or like, I don't remember. So this was $6. The points I had made it $3 and then I used store credit. So it was $3, but I didn't have to pay for it. I was going to say both of our bull moose finds were Yeah, you got that for $3 so. too. So. We might buy a lot of books, but we do get discounts. Yeah, I try to be thrifty, especially where, like, I like bu buying books as much as I do. You know, I can't pay full price for them all. I'd be broke. So that was an exciting find. And I figured where this is a series that I was currently collecting and I hadn't seen that one, it was worth sort of picking up, even though I am sort of on this sort of no buy. It was like a birthday gift from Bulmos, practically. <laughs> basically, it was basically free, so... <laughs> And this one we picked up at Books A Million. Again, didn't get to film that because by that time we were really tired and just, I wanted to run into Books A Million because I didn't find this book anywhere else. And I knew if I was gonna break my no buy for a full price book, it was gonna be for this one. And where I didn't find it in any of the other stores, I was like, okay, Books A Million is gonna have it. And that is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Uh, this is a much anticipated romance read for me. I've literally been excited for this for months. Yep. And Book of the Month chose it for their September picks. And I don't love getting romance books in hardback because the rest of mine are in paperback and I like the consistency of that. But I feel like everybody has been talking about this book because it was a Book of the Month choice. It's been all over like TikTok and YouTube. And so as excited as I already was for this book, all of the praise even made, made me even more excited for it. So I was like, I, I can't wait anymore. I have to buy this book. So pick this one up at Books A Million and um, I've already read it. I yep. finished it. We both had a late yeah. night reading. Yeah, I stayed up till like 2 a.m. reading this mm -hmm. and then I finished it up this morning uh, and it was fabulous and I loved it and I gave it five stars. Spoiler alert for my monthly wrap up. <laughs> So I don't feel bad about buying this considering I read it right away. It's not just adding to the pile of books I already have. So I feel a little bit better about that. This book will never live 
on the shelf. Correct, yeah, it, it's gonna go straight onto my, my romance bookshelf, so uh, if that doesn't speak for how good it was, I don't know what will. But yeah, so that was our little haul. Again, this was more about exploring the local bookstores than it was about buying a ton of books. Mm -hmm. Obviously did find a couple good finds. Again, I, I love the high of finding a book you really want pre-owned for a fabulous price, mm -hmm. so... Uh, that's always fun. So I hope you enjoyed the footage I got of the couple of little local main indie stores that we went to. I wanted to go to a couple more, but I overestimated how much energy we would have by the end of the day. So unfortunately didn't get to those, but maybe in a future video uh, we can explore the ones that we didn't get to today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below what bookstore looked coolest to you. Did you see any books that you would have picked up? Feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and have a wonderful day. Bye.